Our Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, has given us this year, the year for the priest. It's a year that marks the 150th anniversary of the death of the Curie of Ars, that holy parish priest who once said that if we understood the priesthood, that we would die not of fear, but of love. In this great gift of the priesthood that Jesus gives us at the Last Supper, he makes himself present to us powerfully as a healer, as a teacher, as a spiritual father. We thank God for this wonderful gift of the priesthood. So many priests are serving in this archdiocese, in our parishes, institutions, in the military, in the missions. As your Archbishop, I thank the Lord for my own share in the priesthood and for the many men who serve you so faithfully. Thank you for your care and support for me and for those men who daily follow Jesus' command. Do this in memory of me. A priest is a man of prayer, is a man of the Word of God, is one who shares in the heart of Christ, teaching the people, proclaiming the good news, sanctifying the people through the sacraments, governing through wisdom, everything for the sake of love. It ultimately is a call. One, I didn't choose to be a priest. I, I chose to answer yes to God's invitation. That doorbell when it rings, the phone when it rings, you never know, but it is someone that is reaching out. And what I must always remember, that I have to in turn reach out to them. That's priesthood. There are challenges every day, but the Eucharist, the Eucharist, the Eucharist, gives us all meaning and purpose and direction. Without it, we would be truly lost. Without the priest, we wouldn't be able to have Mass on Sunday. I would have to say the greatest moment of my life is the first time at All Saints Church, after I had been ordained at my first Mass, when I raised the body of Christ that very first time. It was just, my hands were shaking. It's almost like that chill that goes through your body when you hear the, uh, the national anthem at a great Red Sox game or something. And I thought to myself, what a gift, you know. Never in my life did I ever think that God would give me this grace uh, to be able to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. It's always brand new. Jesus coming new into the world, into our lives, into our hearts, our minds, and our souls. It is humbling, it is sacred, and I pray God always keep me in the right frame of mind and attitude and disposition of heart. I think I could sum it up with you know, one word, a privilege, uh, a blessed privilege uh, to offer the Mass. It's a wonderful way to begin the day celebrating Mass and hearing God's Word and breaking bread together and feeding the people and uh, praying and singing. In a, more, in a more personal way, the Lord Jesus is uh, the love of my life. And uh, He loved me and gave Himself up for me. I believe that. And I hope that when I approach my death, the Lord will be able to tell me, come, my faithful servant, you have been faithful in what I entrusted you. Enter into your master's joy. My biggest hero in my life is, is this man that gave his life for me. Someone that at the time knew I would probably exist someday, but actually gave his life for my soul. Jesus is my hero. So I think of Jesus as uh, um, not just doing, having me doing a function, but he's my way, my truth, my life, and I, I want to express that in everything I do uh, because uh, the priest is his, uh, in many ways, uh, represents uh, Christ in the work he does. We are companions with, with God on the road to eternal life, and, and Jesus is God, and he has uh, given his life for us, and we serve in his place as priests. I couldn't live my life without the goodness of the priests who have helped me live my life. Without them, I wouldn't be who I am. Being a priest essentially means, for me, 
being in an ever deepening and growing relationship with Jesus Christ. And that unfolds in marvelous, surprising, and challenging ways every day. Working with people, uh, journeying with people who are suffering, who are celebrating, celebrating the sacraments. It's a w wonderful experience when a priest can forgive sins and bring the Lord himself down on the altar. A priest is another Christ. A priest, as we were taught in the seminary back in the old days at St. John's, a priest is the bridge builder. He's the connector between people and God. The most important thing that a priest does is create a bridge between God and, the, and me and the rest of the parishioners. Priests. I love all the priests at my church. I love the priests that I've had growing up. I don't know what I'd do without them. Our family is so grateful for all the priests who have helped us grow together in our faith. The people are my support, my friends, my companions on the journey. In more ways than one, they give to me than I give to them. They mean everything to me. I, I feel that the Lord gave me uh, the privilege to uh, help help him in his mission of taking care of the holy people of God. And uh, I feel that the Lord is inviting me to give up my life and uh, my time uh, out of love for, for the people. Uh, the other day I was, was walking out of church and a woman I don't even know said, Father, I pray for you every day. And it's a wonderful, uh, it's wonderful for us to know that, that the parishioners are praying for us too as, as we pray with them on Sunday. You can take the most difficult day we've had as priests, it's a blessing because you're involved so often in the intimate moments of people's lives. I was uh, ill and out of the parish for maybe about six weeks once. And I started to come back to the parish, uh, but was limited in my capacity because of this illness. And when I returned to the community, the response of the people was overwhelming. That's the answer. When I was called to the hospital one time and asked to baptize a baby that would fit into the palm of your hand, and it was just about an hour old, and baptizing that little baby with a drop of water, and uh, you know, looking at this perfectly formed baby, you know, and I think I just couldn't. I, it's never left me. I can still see it. You know, I probably said thousands of, of funerals, and and I've listened to thousands of eulogies and preached thousands of sermons at funerals, and not one of them uh, was less important than the other. I think that everybody has uh, gifts and talents to offer, and. And uh, if we bring those gifts and talents to the church and to God, uh, that's what inspires me to see that from, from so many people. I don't get excited about stuff, but I do about people. And the first of those people would be Christ. There are many challenges, but there is always one constant in the midst of all challenges, God's promise. Always at work, making all things new. He will never abandon us. The church needs good priests right now. And I'm not saying I'm one of them, you know. Uh, but I do the best I can. Um, I try to be here for my people in my parish. I try to be here for my brothers. Um, so I'm not going to let my God down. And, and I just think we need, it's almost like the Marines. We need a few good men. We've had some difficult times. But the priesthood is still the bright, shining light of the church. And this year of the priest has picked it up. As Father Jim Flavin said, this is our year, the year of the priest.